Yeah, okay, so good afternoon. We are Anton, Anton Prodan and Ana Castillo, and we're about to present, present to you our project, which was about the perception of rhythm. So basically, our goal with this project was to find out why some people have a better rhythm sense than others. And for that, we had to create our own uh, bit synchronization task, which would help us with our study. Um, so before like getting into the experiment and all that, we, um, we need to know what bit synchronization and bit um, perception is. So basically, it is the cognitive ability that allows the perception of regular pools and recreating it. And also a, a bit synchronization task, we define bit as a, a task created on created to play music that the subject will have to listen to and then um, like recreate while the music is playing. So the questions that um, impulsed us to work on this project were um, how are we able to um, understand a music rhythm? Why is there people that are better with music rhythm than others, and also uh, what factors can alter the ability of a person to um, determine the difference in time between a beat and another, which could be the same as wires, which factors could alter the, the fact that some people are better with music rhythm than others. Um, so when, when for the experiment, what we were measuring, measuring, measuring basically was um, how well people can match the timing of um, like the timing of different music beats. And for that, we had to learn about what beat synchronization is, and also we had to create the beat synchronization task. And the subjects that we used for our experiments were the people here in the foundation, such as our colleagues, and also the people that work here. And for um, during our experiment, what um, the subject had to do or what was going on in the experiment was that we played three different music tracks that were in order from easy to hard so they were easy medium and hard and um they basically had to listen to it and with some buttons they had to like match the clicking of the buttons to the beat of the music and also they could because our setup was um made of but it had two buttons, so they could either press the two buttons like this, like alternating or at the same time, or only using one button to like go at the same time that the song. Um, so we were supposed to play the medium track because it's the one that we are in, uh, we used to analyze the data, but we don't have it here. But if you want to listen to it, we could do it later at the other room. Yeah. Uh, so. Our setup, our setup was computer composed uh, uh, with a lot of pandas. That's a small computer that we um, uh, used with uh, some buttons the where the people click and like to give the inputs, uh, the wires to connect to the lot of panda, a uh, small screen, a uh, power bank to, uh, so we can like transport our other panda for uh, inside of the foundation, uh, and headphones that people you would use to listen to our tracks. Um, in that side, you can see the, the bone side uh, was the program that you used to pro program the um, uh, our experience, um, where you can like track the where, where you can like uh, get the files where where is the um, clicks and when the time is doing the music. And we use uh, we used to the the Python. Uh, where you we go to get the data and process the data and see the graphics. So when using Python to analyze the data, we got um, these graphs for each subject. So each subject that did the experiment got a graph like this. And the X axis represents the interval of the clicking on the button. So basically for each second of the track, at which second they were pressing the button. So let's say that if they were in sync, uh, the average of the like they could like they should be at 0 0.3 because the beats were coming at 0 0.3 and then the y-axis represents the uh, number of clicks so to see to also see if they were in beat or not and uh, we had to look at the deviation 
which basically is a statistic that measures the distance of a data test. As you can see there, um, if they had a low deviation, which is the one on the um, left, your right, <laughs> your left, yeah. Um, and this subject had a pretty low deviation, so that means that they did a good performance because the beats were like together. So it went in sync to the music. And the graph on the right side, they had a higher deviation because it's like wider. So it means that they didn't do as good as the other subject because it could mean like the clips are just like all over the place, kind of. <laughs> okay, so here we have a graph. Where? Sorry. Here we have a graph with um, like the information of all the subjects put together and each dot represents the performance of a subject and the x axis represents um, the subject's ID, which was anonymous, so that's why they are numbers. And the uh, y axis represents the deviation of each subject. So let's say that the farther away the point is from the x axis, it means that you did the worst performance because the deviation is higher. So as you can see here, the purple dot is the worst performance. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then the pink one is did the best performance. And also when doing the experiment, we had to keep in mind some factors that could alter our, our results, uh, which are the ones in here. We basically made a survey with some questions that they had to answer regard, regarding these topics. Um, but because um, we thought that maybe the people that stayed in sync is because they do some exercises or mm, something like that, that um, exercise their brain and that makes it easier for them to stay in bed. So the ones that we found more interesting for the data analysis were the gender, their age, their, their, their ability to concentrate, their productivity, their learning skills, and their, if they played instruments or not. Yeah, as you can see, it's not, uh, there's not a noticeable difference between uh, the um, gender thing, but uh, when you go to the age, there's uh, on average the 25, 44 years old people uh, have a better performance, but there is only uh, is more uh, variance of the 15 to 25, uh, 24 subjects years old uh, who could could affect our results. Um, in next, we have uh, the rest of the things that we discussed before. Uh, that was learning skills, great virtue of productivity and ability to concentrate. These things are most of the time self-evaluation. Uh, we ask the one to ten how people graded themselves, uh, so we didn't take this really serious in our um, um, data. But yeah, uh, what most thing that we saw that make a, a lot of difference was if the, the person played instruments or not. Normal the people that played instruments we had better results than people that do not play instruments. Yeah, so as I said, like we have a pretty low number of subjects. So that's why we cannot come into like proper conclusions uh, because the, um, the results are not accurate at all. Because um, basically instead of looking like a big group of data, we were only looking at individuals or like small groups and that doesn't like not all the population are like the subjects that we made the experiment. So, so basically, let's say that as the, that we cannot take um, we cannot state facts from possible exceptions. And um, yeah, but there were some results on the surveys and the um, data that came out as expected. Like if they did the activities that we based the survey on, um, like. If they did, like, for example, if they played instruments, it came out as expected because we said, oh, if they play instruments, they're going to do better. But then there were other ones like the grade of productivity or, or stuff like that, that the people that grade them, them grade them themselves with a low number um, of productivity, let's say, um, they did pretty bad in the, in the experiment. So that's why it basically, we basically had like a very low number of of subjects, so we couldn't like take proper conclusions. So we had a, a few difficulties as well. Um, first, because we spent a long time programming the, the uh, setup. 
So that so we had a uh, very short time to collect data. That's why we are missing a little bit of data as well. And also we had like a limited time to finish the project, so we didn't we couldn't um, like go deeper into the subject. And so for the future, if we ever get to have another opportunity like this one, we would like to go deeper and also extend the subjects and so that we can make a final conclusion of our experiment. Yeah, special thanks to all of the developers on the our project. Most of uh, them was Bruno and Gonzalo. Uh, Bruno is there, but Gonzalo, uh, unfortunately, is not here with us. Uh, and then um, we need to thank a lot to, me, uh, to our colleagues and people on the foundation that participate in our project. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Um, are there any questions? No? Okay. <laughs> there seems to be a trend that the older you get, the worse results you get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is this a message that you're trying to capture? <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. But actually, in our survey, I think that the older one did it better. So. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on question.